I think it's an amazing thing that we get to be on campus. Um, some schools, you know, don't allow that. Some schools, they tried doing that and it failed. Um, and so it's, I think it's just a great thing that I can be on here and kind of experience what it's like. When Monta Vista shifted to online distance learning in March of this year, the senior class of 2020 was faced with challenges like a virtual graduation and a canceled senior ball. After summer ended, many graduates were left with a choice, whether or not they should go to their college campuses for the fall semester. Alumni Nick Chiang, Willie Liu, and Annie Yang decided to do so. Yeah, so for me, um, I'm part of a research program here on campus. And so I kind of just had to go because if some professors require you to be on campus for the research and you can't and you don't get the project. After that first week, everyone starts forming their groups and you don't really meet anyone anymore. So I think that is definitely gonna be something that's really difficult for people who are coming in second semester. I think staying on campus was definitely definitely an easy decision for me to make in that I like corona is a very dangerous disease and I feel like living at home I am more of like I feel like it's riskier for me to live at home because like both my parents are immunocompromised and that would not be good if I were to like get them sick you know because there's always that risk of having like an extra person in the house so I definitely think kicking me out to let me do my studies in a place where it's also more convenient for me because I wouldn't be able to sing with my acapella group if I were remote. Um, I wouldn't be able to like, I don't know, like literally go up to a professor and ask them a question if I were learning remotely. I wouldn't be able to like, be like have a lot of the opportunities or meet like the same amount of people as I would like, as I have now if I were remote. So honestly, the decision was really easy for me. It got to the point where I stayed so much at home that I like couldn't get work done and I couldn't really focus. So I feel like really going to a new environment would help me. And also because my school is pretty small and um, Corona cases here aren't as bad as compared to like California. All students who are on campus are doing a sort of hybrid learning. I think any class that's under, I would, I think 50 people like the professor has the choice of whether or not they feel comfortable holding the in-person class. And even if they do choose to hold an in-person class, they still have to make the class available for those students who are not able to attend in person. So they usually just live stream the lecture. Um, I definitely feel like going on campus was the right move and better a better option than like staying home because I definitely want to have like gotten my work done if I stayed home. So yeah, I think being around people and like having this whole experience helps with my education. I kind of thought my first semester on college would be a lot more social. I think one of the great things about Michigan that unfortunately cannot be highlighted right now is it's really, you know, enthusiastic environment when it comes to the sports teams around here. The school spirit is phenomenal. Prior to COVID-19, I, I expected to meet a lot more people during college and um, <laughs> I expected like those parties that you see in the movies, you know, mm -hmm. or like at least seeing what they look like and just a lot more events going on and like the campus being more lively. There's definitely aspects of college life that haven't been affected. The, the people obviously stay the same no matter COVID conditions or not. It's not like people's personality changes. Um, another thing that didn't change is the mindset everyone has towards learning over here, even though uh, classes are online. My favorite part of college so far has definitely been meeting new people, especially during quarantine. I stayed home and didn't have many like interactions with people. So coming here, it was really nice meeting a lot of new people and making new friends. Like a more specific like memory, I guess, is my favorite memory of college is just like hanging out with my roommate in my dorm. Since there's not much you can do, we just like jam out to music in here. Oh uh, God, I sound like such a dork. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say acapella just cause having that like close group of friends is making like adjusting here really easy. Being able to like, like, like being able to like, just like share meals together, hang out, but also like sing with each other and feel productive and like feel like we still have like a part on this campus. 
it's just really nice to have, especially like now. After after our auditions, after our auditions and our callbacks, um, instead of just blatantly telling us they we got like we got in, like all the new guys got prank called saying that we were we had a third round of auditions and that they were gonna take us off campus and we had to like like and like and we had to like we had like an hour to prepare another solo and I was freaking out and they were like yeah go to this street corner get in the first car you see but yeah we got driven 30 minutes away to Lake Ontario all the guy like all, all the guys currently in the group were like standing in an arch and like we were like told that we had to sing like in front of them and it was there was a lot of pressure and they were like not nah, jokes you guys made the group so I definitely think and that was a really fun night we stayed on the beach um sang for a bit, played some Frisbee, and we just had fun, throw the Frisbee around, made some phone calls to some alumni, which they were really cool people to me. Some advice for people like kind of determining whether they want to go on campus or not. The number one factor is like where that college is and how big that college is, because obviously some cases um, for Corona are worse in like some states than others. And also, um, how big your school is and whether or not your school is like a big party school because I know there are a lot of colleges who just don't really care that corona is going on so they throw parties and then they get shut down and it was just like a waste of time and money so definitely um, seeing how big your college is and then also how well you learn so if you can't really sit at home and do work then it might be better for you if you have a change of scenery the, my advice for people deciding if they want to move back on campus or not, look at the stats on your school. I think one of the things that you, we didn't have going in that you guys will have going in in the following years is the statistics in how a school is keeping the number of cases down. Um, we kind of went in blindfolded. We're like the test subjects here. But if a school can keep kids, you know, down to an X amount of cases, and that's like comfortable for you, then there's no reason that they're not gonna be able to do that again, um, unless it's like a really small school. Because when you have kids coming in from all across the place with different backgrounds, you're always gonna get those people who don't care about much COVID. And you're always gonna get people who care a bunch about COVID. You're gonna get the entire spectrum and the numbers won't change that much. And if anything, it'll be lower because those colleges around are all learning, right? from what the students are doing now. And so they're all learning. And if anything, it'll be even better next year.